What you guys got another video here for you on how to force delete a file or a folder that cannot be deleted in Windows. Now this is Windows 11, but this also works with Windows 10 and other versions of Windows as well. But first let's check out today's sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro key, then enter my promo code on the screen and then submit your order. Once you get your key sent to you, you can head over to the activation center and use your key to activate your version of Windows. All the information is in the video description. So we're going to start off with this file here. As you can see, this is a zip file. I'll show you how to do zip files and also files. And also we're going to be doing folders as well. So if you're trying to delete a file and it won't let you delete it, and you'll find it difficult to remove. I'll show you a bunch of different steps you can do to remove these. So let's have a look here. So first off, we'll start off with this file deletion first. So the first place we're going to go is command prompt. So we need to go to the search box here and type CMD and run this as administrator. This will open up the command prompt box here. And here we go. And it's pretty simple. It's not that complicated. But all you need to do here is type out a command to delete this file. So if you type DEL and in space forward slash question mark, this will give you some of the uh, switches that you can use to delete files. And if you read here, it'll tell you exactly what these uh, switches do. For instance, you can see F will be false deleting of uh, read only files. And you can say S here, delete uh, specific files from subdirectories and things like that. So you can use these switches in conjunction with the delete command as well, which is very useful. So I'll show you in command prompt and I'll also show you in PowerShell and I'll show you a piece of software you can use as well that will remove the file on reboot, which is a very useful way of removing files that are hard to delete. So let's go ahead and type this command out. So you can see an example here, we're using the delete command here and we're using the switch of forward slash F forward slash Q and forward slash A. Now your path will be different. So you'll need to change the path uh, for the file that you have that you want to remove. And I'll show you that right now. So if you right click on the actual file here and then use copy as path, this will take the path of the file and it saves you typing all of this out. So right click and copy of the path of the file. And then all you need to do now is type out the command, which will be del space forward slash then you could do F space forward slash Q space forward slash A. And then we're going to be doing space and then the actual uh, path. So let's go ahead and do that. And when we push enter, this will force delete that file from the system. So let's push enter here and see the file disappear up the top of the screen. So there you go. And the file is now gone. And that's basically how you can force the leak using that command. So let's do an, another one here. And this time we're going to be doing a folder. So we're going to force the leak a folder from the computer. So let's go ahead and type out this command here, which is RMDIR space forward slash S space forward slash Q and then the file path. So again, right click on the folder, copy as path, and then you can type that command out and paste it after the queue. Make sure there's a space and then you can push enter on the keyboard and you will see the folder disappear from the screen. And that has deleted the folder for us. Now you can also use this other command if you wanted to, which is the same thing. It will do the same process, but it's just a different command. You're using RD instead of RMDIR. So you can type this out and it will be exactly the same using RD at the front space forward slash S space forward slash Q and then space and then the path of that file and then push enter and then that will delete that um, folder from your computer. Okay, so that's the files and folders taken care of using command prompt. Let's now hop over to PowerShell and show you in PowerShell. So go to the search and type PowerShell and run this as administrator. And once we've got this open here, we'll delete the zip file here and we'll do a command in here to delete the zip file. So for that command, what we need to do is type remove dash item and then space dash path 
and then the file path of what you want to remove. And all you need to do is do the same thing, right click on the file and copy the path. So let me just quickly do that here. So right click on the file, copy as path, and then paste that in and then do space dash false and then push enter. And that will remove the item from the computer. So it's pretty straightforward. And there you go. Now, if you're still having issues and these commands are not working, you can use a piece of software. And this piece of software is called Unlock It. It's a pretty good bit of software. I think it used to be called Move On Boot. But what you can do is select a file or a folder, and basically it will check the file to see if it's locked, and it will try to delete it. If you can't delete it, it will say you need to reboot your system, and it will then delete it on reboot it will come up with a prompt box and it will delete that file on reboot it's a very useful piece of software for hard to delete files and this way is 100 percent foolproof it will definitely remove that um, file you can also try safe mode if you don't want to install any sort of software you can boot to safe mode and try to delete the file in safe mode if you prefer but give this piece of software a go it's free to download all you need to do is get it installed on the system I'm going to put for anyone who uses this computer. You can select uh, complete or typical or whatever it is you want to select here. I'm going to leave it as typical as recommended and click install. It's a very quick install. And then all we need to do is, uh, you know, execute the unlock it program. And now we should see it boot up like this. There we go. So all you need to do here now is drag and drop your file into that big white area space there that says you can drag and drop or copy and paste the file into here and what it will do is you can see here it will check the file it will unlock the file or delete the file and it's a pretty good little piece of software to have if you push the little drop down arrow it will say delete file or delete folder and the same thing for unlock you can get unlock file or unlock folder and it's a, a very good bit of software for removing difficult to remove files or folders that won't delete and even after using those commands I've had issues sometimes where they don't work and I've used this and pretty much if it can't physically delete it or remove it at the desktop it will say reboot your PC and it will remove that file on the reboot process which is very very nice because that way it's gone it also has a little skin uh, changer here which makes the uh, software look a little bit more to your pleasing whether you want it uh, as dark mode or something like that you can change this up to whatever you like here there's plenty of them on there so if you did have a lock file all you need to do is just drop it in here you can see this is not locked but if it was it will tell you it's locked and you can go ahead and click on this delete file or delete folder navigate to that location to select the file uh, and then what it will do is it will basically so open and it will say do you want to delete this file and it will say yes delete the file and it will delete it if it can't delete it, what it will say is you need to restart your computer. You then restart, and then basically that's it. It will remove it on reboot. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. That's basically how you can force delete any file or folder on Windows. This is on Windows 11, but it works on any version of Windows. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members groups. Your name is rolling up on the screen right now. Hope you have a lovely weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Got a build video coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.